Welcome to the finale of the Sprint Championship. It's the third video and we have already hit the finale. That is crazy to think, but I figured it's better than five minute videos here and there. But nonetheless, we've got Fernando Alonso now starting from pole position. Hopefully he can actually make a dent on this championship and maybe make an impact. Roman Grosjean obviously getting that win out in Brazil has put him more or less to the back of the grid every single race up since then, but we are at the Red Bull ring. So it'd be nice if Kvyat signs ourselves or Ricardo could get a win here I reckon that'd be really nice but I think none of us we're all in kind of no man's land at this point um, because we've all done well I think Carlos Sainz is the only one that hasn't got a podium or thereabouts but he is starting fourth so Carlos Sainz is in the hot seat with Daniel Ricardo to potentially get a win here so we could see a Red Bull and a Toro Rosso on the podium um, maybe even Fernando Alonso it'd be nice to see but we don't know if that's going to happen Vettel in 16th he is slowly moving his way up the grid. Um, Jolie and Palmer alongside us in P19. However, dramatic pause while I take a drink. Ourselves in P20. Palmer to the left. We got a Ferrari. We got a Haas and another Ferrari. We're going to absolutely demolish the start. We flew past uh, Kimi Raikkonen for the second race in a row. But we're going to be a bit more careful because we knew Kimi was going to make a move like that. Um, he did in Belgium and it didn't really work out very well. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It was it was a good attempt. Let's put it like that. It really didn't end up going very well. It ended up facing the wrong way. But we're going to come down to the hairpin. Kimi again with another dive bomb. We're going to go down his inside. We're going to hit the Haas. And we're going to spin Hamilton. And then we're stuck on Hamilton. Hamilton's reversing us. We're going round. We have to put it in reverse, get in first gear and spin the car around. And we are in P20. Um, P18, give or take. But what a weird start to have after such an interesting race. So we're going to go round. The hats touches us. You get stuck on the Mercedes. He spins the Mercedes. And then we get stuck on Hamilton. Because he's reversing, he drags us round. So we have to spin round ourselves and actually get away. So we're essentially P lot, P20 before we overtake both of the Mercedes. So that is so annoying. It was such a weird... Um, it's just so weird. Like I don't understand why or how that happened. But nonetheless, you can see we've got Daniel Ricciardo taking the Sauber's position off of him. So that is Daniel Ricciardo, I believe, up into P3. I can't see any more cars, but we're right at the back of the grid. We're in P17. There's Magnussen once again making daily appearances in these races it's a short race track so we're not going to get much done in this time in terms of overtaking but ricardo perez science everyone's setting fastest laps at this point but here is science for the lead of the race i believe he's going to go past fernando alonso down the straight he won't have drs i don't think but the spaniard on spaniard does manage to get past his um mentor his idol from when he was a child so carlos science does take the lead of this race so far so fair play to him Roman Grosjean is a victim who's going to get overtaken before we even make it to turn one we set the fastest lap so we are on a mission we are so frustrated after that turn one incident that we was literally just a sitting duck we couldn't do anything about but here comes Daniel Ricciardo another replay of what actually um, happened while he was driving there you can see Ricciardo is going to go side by side with Alonso um, before even the last corner so Ricardo has moved himself up into P2 this is very tasty we could see Carlos Sainz against Daniel Ricardo, but um, Alonso I think will come under pressure from the Force India as well so but nonetheless we are going to continue on we've got Sebastian Vettel who is our next target who was not really caught up in that but he did have to slow down um, just a little bit but we are still going and um, doing the best that we can to try and make some positions. If we can get some points, that would be absolutely fantastic. But Vettel is not giving an inch. Vettel is still going to be there. We're just going to hop the curb because we don't care at this point. We're just so pissed off um, that that happened. We're still making some decent moves, but it's just not. It's not. It's not the point. It was. Um, I'm not sure if it was Grosjean. I want to say it was Grosjean. If it was Magnussen, then boy, Magnussen, me and Magnussen are going to have some issues. But um, yeah, we're going to come through to. Just sit behind Raikkonen and we can see the points. Um, you know, there's a few more corners to go. If we're going to try something, it's going to have to be um, very, very gutsy. We're going to have to be on the limit of this car and this race circuit. We're going to do what we can. We're going to chuck it down into six. 
we're going to have to go along the curb because Kimi gave us no space. And down the inside of Massa, we're going to barge his wheels because, like I said, we really don't care. And we're going to come across the line and we're actually going to finish P10. So that's one point. Uh, air race, but we didn't see what happened up the front. There was an amazing battle up the front. I'm going to look at this replay now of what happened. So this will start in the final lap. we got Daniel Ricciardo having a look at Carlos Sainz into turn one. This is for the lead of the race on the final lap. So Carlos Sainz is going to go side by side. He manages just to fall a little bit behind um, his Red Bull um, senior teammate. But he's going to pull alongside again coming into the hairpin. So these two are really going for the win. We've got Sergio Perez in the background who was just waiting to pick up any scraps. But for most of this entire lap, they've gone side by side, and more so they will do. Carlos Sainz does have the um, DRS at the moment. So does Perez, but I don't think Perez will get past uh, Danny Ricciardo at all. But Carlos Sainz is currently holding on to his first race win in um, in this championship, as well as Danny Ricciardo. Ricciardo's got no podium and no win so far, so either way, it'll be fantastic from both of them. But moving on a little bit forward, you can see that Carlos Sainz did manage to maintain um, the lead of this race. And he's going to come across the line. It was very close between him and Ricardo, but Sainz does manage to take the win. And Ricardo's going to pull alongside and have a nice little chat. Bearing in mind, they probably couldn't hear each other, but fair play to those two drivers. They absolutely smashed it, and they did a fantastic job to, um, to actually win. You know, they had a good little battle. So fair play to the Toro so and Rebel drivers. Franz Tost last time he probably been this excited was when uh, Sebastian Vettel won in Italy 2008. But Carlos Sainz is a race winner in this championship mode. Great job by him. He absolutely smashed it. Um, yeah, still dis really disappointed with um, how our race went. It could have been a whole lot better than what it was. But I guess end of the day we can't really be mad. I suppose. But it was just, it was it was just disappointing. Like we couldn't do anything. We were stuck on the um the Haas, which eventually was stuck on the Mercedes. So the Mercedes was round, but I don't know. It wasn't too bad, I guess. We 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 we're still leading. It's close. It's very close between Science. If Science manages to win, then we could be in trouble. But anyway, Malaysia's next. So Malaysia's gonna be an interesting race. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, and again, like another race. I don't know, I just like the um, the sunset races, like they don't come too often, um, but when they do when they do happen, they are absolutely glorious, like they just look so nice. And um, I don't know, these championship modes have thrown up a little bit of surprises. We had the Monaco at night, we've had um, Brazil and Malaysia in sunset. I think we've had a few others, but in, in terms of the classic cars, there's been a lot of uh, wet races. Which is interesting, but just look at the sun glare. It's like a make up my Michael Bay's been editing this video um, with how obnoxious it is. But we're going to look at the grid and see who we think could potentially win this uh, final race of the season. Massa is in a really good position. Uh, Neva Alonso or Verlaine could win. But Hamilton's in P6, so Hamilton and Massa, I'd say, are the front running cars. Who could potentially take the win um, in the Malaysian Grand Prix? It'd be Massa's first win in Championship mode. And, um, well, for Lewis Hamilton, um, I think it would be around about his third win if he gets a hit, which is really, really bad um, in terms of, you know, how consistent he is in real life compared to this. But we're shaking our head left or right. We're excited. We're ready to go um, and finish off this championship in style. Hopefully secure our third gold medal, which is what we want. And that's what these championships are for, is to get the gold medal and... Um, if we don't, then something is severely wrong and uh, we'll be very upset if we don't get the gold medal. We'll have to come back to it towards the end once we've done all the other ones. But we are practically ready to go here um, at the Malaysian Grand Prix. It's a track I'm alright at. We struggled in the first championship round in when we was driving this Hulkenberg. But in the Classic, we did a little bit better. We actually managed to win um, in our RB6. So with that newfound um, pace... Hopefully we can actually, uh, you know, make, make make a win out of this. I'd say we make a win, let's be honest. We're not going to win. Not with Hamilton that far up. But look at that glare. The sun glare is absolutely beautiful. We're waiting for the five lights. We probably can't even see the lights, to be honest. But we are at ready, and we are underway. We've got Carlos Sartre to the right. I'm going to pull to the right-hand side, just go past him. And we're actually going to go through, and we're going to just try and make as much ground into the... What? Are you being serious? 
For what? What do you mean, collision with Carlos Sainz? Excuse me? Where? Where's the collision? Right. Super slow motion. No. Are you serious? Are you kidding? It looked like there was no contact. Oh. Okay, there maybe was a little bit of contact. Um, unless they've got, like, no... Um, rear end whatsoever underneath that um, rain light but nonetheless whatever we've got a two second time penalty we? we are going to be on a charge now we're going to be frustrated we're angry we're just pissed off for the second time um, this season ironically the second race this episode but nonetheless we're just going to come through and make up as much ground as possible we're already up into P11 if we can get past Vettel who is going to fight back and Vettel ain't going to take this line now he's going to squeeze us to the edge of the track but we're going to go round because he squidged us a little bit too much in his favour. But we're going to have a replay. Oh, what a load of rubbish, man. But anyway, we're going to come uh, look at a replay and just see um, where everyone is. We've got Lewis Hamilton there just behind uh, Fernando Alonso. He's going to move to the inside off Alonso and uh, Marcus Ericsson and Alonso. Um, kind of in no man's land, but Hamilton has absolutely flown. Alonso does try and make a move on uh, Hamilton, but it's not going to work, is it, Fernando? But fair play to Hamilton going between both of the drivers. And I've somehow developed a cold after that penalty. That penalty has given me a cold. I swear to God, that penalty has just made me ill. Um, but anyway, we've got Lance Stroll just ahead of us in P9. We disposed of Bottas. We made, basically made 10 positions in a lap because we're that annoyed. We're just like, whatever, screw this game. We're just going to drive as hard, as fast as possible. As Lance Stroll actually locked, uh, locked the front tyre. But nonetheless, we are going to continue. We've got uh, Esteban Ocon just ahead. Pascal Verlein. And, uh, oh Jesus Christ, Kevin Magnussen again. Um, this kid, every single race, he's, he's there. He's just there. Um, well, I suppose he is just there. If we are starting from the back of the grid, we probably will see him at least once. But we're going to go past all three of them, up into P5. We've gained 15 down positions in basically a lap and a, lap and a quarter. It's disgusting. We're gonna about to catch up to Fernando Alonso. Hamilton and Massa are fighting out in front, so I was correct in saying that those two are candidates for the race win. We set a fastest lap, rightly so. And here we go. We got Lewis Hamilton in pursuit of Felipe Massa. Felipe Massa is gonna stick to the outside line. Um, he's not gonna hold it there. He's just not with that downforce. He'd have been better off sticking to the inside line and parking the bus. But fair play to Felipe. Uh, Hamilton will go through. And Hamilton will do what he can to um, make sure he actually gets his third race win in championship mode. We come up to Fernando Alonso. Fernando Alonso, buddy, you've got no hope in hell. I mean, I could be nice and let you have a podium. But I'm not sure what the championship standards are like. Uh, Hamilton could win. I don't know if only getting 12 points would be enough. But anyway, Hamilton has got to cross the line to win the race because nothing happened. Nada happened, honestly. I, was, I couldn't catch Massa. I was just, I was, well, I was catching Massa, I wasn't catching the Hamilton though. But we're going to come across the line in uh, P3. So we get another podium. So that takes us up to five podiums um, in uh, championship mode. Uh, five podiums? No, sorry. Uh, Twelve podiums. I was looking at race wins. But anyway, uh, yeah, Hamilton gets his third win of championship mode. Uh, fair play to him. He, he started relatively high up, so I'd have been a bit surprised if he didn't actually uh, convert that into a race win. But... Uh, Another annoying race. That's two races in a row. In fact, no, three. We had the incident at Belgium, the spin at Austria, the rubbish penalty here. I swear to Lord, if, that, if it comes in threes, but if it happens again, I'm going to be really annoyed. But, yeah, there's, there's the graphic on the screen. Third win of the championship. Uh, second podium for Felipe Massa, I believe. And our 12th. But there is the constructor stands in the end. We managed to finish ahead of Mercedes which is obviously fantastic. Look how close it is. It's been close all season, and even to the end, it's very close. And we managed to f um, finish a um, good amount of points ahead of Lewis Hamilton, our team, um, I say teammate, our junior teammate, Carlos Sainz, not too far behind after getting that race win. But there it is. There's the gold medals that we want. Again, the only reason we do this is for all these gold medals. Uh, I think there's 20 in, I think there's 20 in total. So, so far, we've got three out of 20, which isn't too bad. We're three for three, and hopefully we can continue this as we don't want to have to replay any of these. Because if we struggle, 
I don't have to return some we're going to struggle later on with. But anyway, that's been the end of this championship mode. I haven't recorded any more in advance. So it's going to be interesting. I'm not sure when this is going to be out. This could be out in December for all I know. But anyway, until then, guys, just in case, Merry Christmas. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.